The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a family in Eretz Yisrael that made a wedding for their daughter. And a week or two after they made the wedding, the daughter knocks at the door together with her new husband. They're all smiles. They're Shana Rishayna, they're Chaydash Rishon, they're just newly married. And clutch, the daughter's clutching a bag in her hand and she says, Ima, come, let's sit down on the couch. I have to show you something beautiful. And she has with her the proofs, you know, the photo proofs of all the pictures of the wedding. Ah, and they sit down on the couch and they relive the wedding, which was just a week or two earlier. The picture of the ring, putting the ring on the Kala's finger and the grandfather's, you know, glistening eyes and the simcha of the chasna Kala looking at one another right after the chuppah and the dancing The photographer literally captured every feeling, every emotion, from the highest feelings, the deepest feelings. They couldn't believe it. And the daughter and the mother both said, we're so fortunate we used this guy. He's such an amazing photographer. While they're looking at the album, the home phone rings. And the mother picks it up. And it's a friend of hers who was making a simcha as well. And she says, you know, you just made a wedding. Who do you use as a photographer? So she says, you can't, you're not going to believe this. We're literally looking through the proofs right now. And one picture is more precious than the next. You totally have to use this guy. I hope he's not booked the night of your, your child's wedding. And then she hears a pause or a silence at the other end. And she says, what's wrong? She goes, oh, that photographer. I don't think we're going to use him. Well, why wouldn't you use him? I heard from somebody that he arrived late at a wedding and they missed the whole chuppah. He only came for the dancing. We can't run such a risk. So the woman, the mother of the newly married girl says, it's so out of character for him. It must be an emergency. Something must have happened. He's not that kind of person. He's so responsible. He was there early at the wedding and he was there every step of the way. And he was so dedicated. He went above and beyond. The woman says, I'm just telling you what I heard. I can't risk using this fellow. But she gets somebody else. A few weeks later, this couple, the mother and her husband are at a wedding and they see the photographer. And the husband feels... That it's to the benefit of the photographer to know that people, someone out there is saying something negative about him. I'm not here to say if it's right, wrong, rechilas, toyelas, ask your of. But at a lull in the action while everyone was eating, he went over to the photographer. He says, I, first of all, just thank you so much. The pictures at our wedding were above precious. They were beyond. But I want to just share with you something. There's a rumor out there. We heard from somebody that people are not necessarily using you these days because they heard that you showed up at the, you showed up at the, at the dance and you missed the whole chuppah and they don't have no memories of those moments and we don't want to rest, risk that. The photographer thinks for a moment, he goes, oh my gosh, are you serious? So what? He goes, I'll tell you what happened. Someone else was supposed to be the photographer and at the last minute he bailed on them and they had no photographer so they called, a bunch of people called me up and said, you got to come here. I was pretty far away from the wedding hall. I got into my car. I dropped everything, my family, my personal life, my responsibilities and I came to the wedding as soon as I could. I got there by the dancing but I did them the biggest favor in the world. I wasn't supposed to have a wedding that night. I intentionally didn't take anything that night but when I heard about a chasna ka that wouldn't have pictures, I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to ignore their, their pleas. And I came there. Yes, and I only came for the dancing. Look at the difference. You have somebody who views things with Ein of Bereishai. They're working on their perspective and trying to see what's good and positive and wonderful. And that's really what it was. It was a person doing a superhuman type of chesed. And yet the critical person sees something critical. Taras is a result of looking at things with tsaras ein with a negative, jaded perspective of seeing something beautiful with a small flaw and highlighting the flaw and ignoring the beauty. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org